September 11, 2001. That date conjures up vivid memories for James and Gallia. The scene was, uh, it was like being on the moon because it was a strip cut and there was smoke and debris everywhere and uh, the stench of aviation fuel. At the time, Zangalia had been in his position for a decade, but in his experience, he's never witnessed anything like the scene of the Flight 93 crash sites. It was quite unimaginable for for days. For 11 straight days, Zangalia spent dawn till dusk working on the site, following the orders of Wally Miller, Somerset County, Pennsylvania coroner at the time. The first thing Wally wanted us to do was to find a place for a morgue to get set up. I was assigned to the impact site, ground zero. My triage was to uh, bag and tag and, and transport human remains up to the uh, state police. As the days passed, Zangalia recalls one of the most impactful moments was a conversation he had with a family member of a Flight 93 passenger. We had taken the, the caskets out to the, the site. Uh, we were coming back and the one, uh, one family member grabbed my hand and said, thank you. That, that did it. After nearly two weeks, it was time for Zengalia to leave and go back to his regular duties. Despite the hardship and the emotional and physical toll it took on him, walking away from the site wasn't easy. I really didn't want to leave. Don't ask me why, because I was sunburned and tired and beat, and, but just the emotions, the feelings. And to this day, revisiting the Flight 93 Memorial is still hard for him. I go back, I was, I was just out there and, and emotions still run high. In the 20 years since 9-11, Zangalia hopes young people understand the significance of this day and the courage and sacrifice of the passengers and crew of United Flight 93. Well, I hope that the, the knowledge that is out there at the site, I hope that the younger generation takes interest just to go out and view. Reporting in Cambria County, Pennsylvania, Jillian McCarthy. And WTHA will continue to honor the lives that were lost that day, the heroes of Flight 93, and the many first responders by sharing their stories each day during WTHA News at 6. We also invite you to join us Friday, September the 10th for our special Remembering 9-11 20th Anniversary Show featuring stories that you'll only see right here. It all begins at 7 p.m.